Hello. We're back. Um, oh, it's so cold outside. Dude, it was 33 degrees when I walked over this morning. Yeah, that's about what it is here. Um, hello, no gaming scientist. We're going to chase Bode. This does feel like climax. And you know what? I'm okay with that. A little bit. Because honestly, compared to like the first game where like there was no big hub worlds, I it felt more rewarding to uh, to explore last time. This one didn't feel as rewarding. So it would be interesting to think about. Yeah, interesting to think about that. I mean, I'm not the one playing it, so the feeling is mm. different. But <sighs> which I hope Star Wars Outlaws, which is their like actual open world one, is a bit better in terms of those side activities. Oh, he's t posing. There we go. <laughs> and again, I I know this game is probably like what four. Four years after that first one, but I feel like it could have used another year. I don't know. I don't know. Is I'm not a game designer. I shouldn't have strong opinions, but I mean, somehow I a, do. We can have strong opinions on it because we have spend money on it, I guess. Us, um, and we, I spend money on it. Um, Breeze is ready for a bumpy ride. What do you mean interact with the hollow table? I already did. Unless I have to do it again. Oh, I guess I did. Um, Is it time? We're heading to the abyss now. So, the erase. I know Respawn's a smaller company compared to others, and their main say, actually really is Apex. Mm -hmm. And they're a team that primarily is made up of first-person shooter developers. So I which is kind of... Like, which is kind of the thing, is that, like, they probably don't have a ton of com comparatively a ton of talent on this game alone. Yeah, that's probably spread thin. What do you think is taking Z or if they do have a dedicated team, that it's much smaller to compared to like their Apex two. team or their whatever other teams. Hey, great pep talk, kid. Oh God. Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. Look. Again, this game is gorgeous. And, like, I do like the lore and like the story. It's just gameplay wise. Like it doesn't feel that polished. <sighs> Here we go. I feel like they added so much speed to the enemies know, without adding you wanna fly this thing? speed that's able to counter that cow. Don't take it stunned, but you do. They can get uh, and damage cancel, but I can't. Just one of those. Now we're in the quantum realm. It's beautiful. <laughs> Dude, that's straight up quantum realm, like as we see it in Amen. Right oh, is it? Basically. It's Now it's an optical course. And I'm really hoping Star Wars Outlaws does not introduce Jedi or rely on the Skywalkers or Vader, etc. Like, it really shouldn't. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that I... about the whole thing that always feels weird and... Is that like you're dealing with both like the Sith and the dark side, and then all the quote unquote good guys? Their only focus, although to be fair, I haven't seen the newer movies, so like maybe there's something different in the arc. But it always just seems to be about resurrecting this old order that was like not that good either. <laughs> it's like the. Hey, wait a minute. I don't know. It feels far too much like real politics for me. <laughs> Maybe that's the whole point. We need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. 
and I don't know. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, Are what? You crazy. If you jump in a hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man. It's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? Fucking Aladdin right no, there. I do, Cal. <laughs> Let her ride. This is his, uh, um, Death Star Tunnel moment. Now. <laughs> Yeah. What's that face? <laughs> what? Why yeah, is this the scene? Like, what's happening? <laughs> Why is that the scene? Why? What's happening right now? <laughs> it's supposed to be comic relief. It was a little bit weird. No, the, him screaming is fine. It's the. Why are they kissing right now? I mean, that's the whole thing is supposed to. Three arms, son of a gun dark. <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. Huh. Wow. I hope it's worth it. Is that Earth? No. Yeah. Dude, a purple Earth. Can you imagine? All of our trees are purple and so green. The abyss. Shit. Settled. Haven's Edge. Okay. Tantalor. Let's see what this fucking utopia is about. We're just gonna leave Grease unprotected. Yep. Chilling. Not what you were expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. That water is gorgeous. Yeah. But also two blue. The temple's this way. This is gorgeous. Dragon look at this. Centauri Cree planned their future. Yeah. And look where it's And that's down. the thing about Star Wars that we should really have more of is like, look, you can just have so many gorgeous locations. And just this is just space in general, right? Like, let your mind go fucking wild. Well, make everything colorful. This is actually one of the. This is one of the sincere disappointments with like Starfield. Everything was fucking is it like, gray and blue. Had they what just... Is? Had they not insisted upon the... Yeah, that's, that's nice looking. Um, Loki, that looks like the mountain you have to climb in, like, God of War to release uh, Freya. Uh, no, Faye. What's her name? Bode will not let this Kratos end. Kratos is... Uh, is it Faye? He already used fatherhood to just Faye. Yeah. And it's, murder. um... Now we have him cornered, with nowhere else to run. He will God, it's the same... It's the name of that... Is that... Icelandic singer. I can't think of the name of her right now. Well, say something. You're right. But what about Kata? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken. Leif, Leife. That's the full name you and of I the character. Lost for the rest of our lives. <clears throat> Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. Very well. What the we will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. And ours. This is gorgeous. Um, I will lose it if there turns out to be a shit ton of Jedi here already, because I don't know what. Is Bo's plan to just chill here with her, his daughter by her, himself? Like, I keep thinking about something Seer yeah, once said. It's a warning. It's an odd one. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. He's still here. Good. Yeah, but I see a glowy thing over here. So I'm going to go towards the glowy thing first. And Bioshock Infinite, I'm excited because uh, that game. Also good. It's a good one to go to after this. I, I, to it's a little. Sh it's the definitely significantly shorter for one. Astagera. A bit more straightforward. And I would yeah. love to hear your thoughts and takes on it. And 
you're presumed, mind you, knowledge of the subject matter, the time period, etc. Mm -hmm. Because you're so fucking well. It'll be. It'll be interesting to go back to it after nearly a decade because yeah, I, I think the last time I played it was probably 2015 or so. Yeah, I remember beating it and then immediately it was like, what? And then just started a new playthrough just to like see. Yeah, I played it on the 360 and we'll talk about this again, I guess. But I played it on the 360 and then I think once, at least once on Steam. I my think old all of my playthroughs were on PC, but I played with a 360 Do you hear controller. That? So mouse and keyboard will be different. Straight, not like an Uncharted again, but like straight up just a like archaeology game. I would throw money at that instantly. Like Loki, Indiana Jonesy, but definitely more focused yeah. on the archaeology aspect of everything. Wasn't there like a canceled Indiana Jones game that was supposed to come out or something like that? No, um, Machine Game. Are they so actually the, still the Wolfenstein on that? crew are making an Indiana Jones game? Hey, Kata. Okay. This is Marin. Yeah, that and should be the Hitman crew are making a James Bond game. So like, if those come to fruition, I'm sorry, Papa hurt you. And if they turn out good, the... like I would lose my shit, yeah. Connor. I'm like, see you again. the only thing that the Wolfenstein company is giving the Indiana that. Jones game is that like, it father, might at least be decent. Your father stole it something very important. Make some people mad about the subject matter. To give it back. Mm -hmm. In a good way. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but I just don't know if they've had like. If it's gonna be a third this person action so game, cute. like Okay. Follow me. Okay. Who's willing to bet money she's horse sensitive? I don't like it here. It's dark and lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Aaron, my queen. <laughs> better I would play a spin-off game of Marin instantly Did you see your I mean I find her character mostly I find her character mostly interesting and in, like the whole within story around her people like just because like too much of Star Wars is just that like binary like there's force and there's not force or there's force and there's dark dark force or whatever and yeah, and that group like create like, adds a little more to the story to the world than yeah because it's more than just oh, you're force sensitive in the Jedi sense versus like no there's force sensitive individuals of all types in her case it's ma magic ah! they, right like yeah how did you get here it wasn't easy You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire. Including Kata. And you. But you have to surrender now. Like, what's what's his end game? Because, like, why was he in here by himself? Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please. <laughs> I will decide what's best for my family.
Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something right now. I feel like balancing another character that can use like force powers from afar is tricky. Let's do this. Help me here. I do love a good force choke battle. Imagining performance issues. I will say, like, they really did a good job. information. That seems like a fate. Oh no. <sighs> Bitch, okay. I was gonna wonder if they were gonna start me at that phase. Okay. That would have been nice, but. Give me a moment. Our decision is final. Master Ancesis, please. He has the will to fight. And I admire it. Rancesis. It is not only his life we would risk. Oppo Rancesis. Oppo Rancesis. <laughs> there is no time. I suggest you both join us. Because he's not that bad of a fight compared to... Others. Ready? 
Especially considering Marin is just, just chilling there right now. Distract him! I will strike from the shadows. He doesn't seem to fit in the zone. Yeah, that, that moment's scripted. Oh, 100%. They haven't... I mean, it, but, like, more... Like, I think it happens at a certain point of his health or something. Yeah. That moment's a little weird because, like, I'm not sure what to do with this lightsaber that's just flying around, you know? Yeah, because you could jump, but, like, are you gonna be able to jump far enough to get out of the way? A little hard. Tell. This is my home now. And he has really weirdly long wind ups for his attacks. It's just hard to tell what attack he's gonna do. Not like by a crazy amount, but there is a little bit of a wind up I'm not used to. Because you, because that first fight with him is, you're, I mean, you're scripted to lose. Right. This isn't what I'm not sure what to do. Stay away from Kata. Another sim. Some of that cutscene didn't make sense because I feel like she tried to wrap the rocks around him, but we didn't see that. Hmm. Yeah, she was trying to pin him into the wall or something, yeah, but, but the animation which, like, make it I'm gonna be honest, barely makes sense when you're dealing with a Jedi like, force power. To be honest, yeah. like you can, I suppose you can kind of bind them enough that then they can't use for, the force gonna, powers, but like. I'm skip that. Thank <laughs> you. 
god. Jesus. Because that would have been a frustrating one to replay. Like, as you said, he doesn't... I'm not playing, but he didn't seem like he caused as much of a challenge as others. Please, listen to them, Papa. All right. No. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? I'm sorry, Kaba. I tried. No hesitation. I mean, they gave him his shot, right? <sighs> Yay, orphans! The story of Star Wars, Orphans. Yo. Mm. It truly is, though. Yeah. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years, I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. No kiss. Why? <laughs> I, I think one of the I things with I let go of these characters is like, I you didn't. Letting go of the people. I he's not a character in the first game, is he? But I was wrong. He isn't. He's kind of just. And one day, so they're trying to like shoehorn I met a tragic arc with him. When we're just introduced and presume like. Together we found another when way you're just kind of thrown into conflict with him or something, as if like you had like a three or four year I mean, relationship. Like, this pain is I think yours. this game takes about five years after the first one, so like there's this like. This part of you. I guess like assumption on your part that you piece together. Oh, they've been adventuring together for. X number of years, when right? Mother... Although the question I have is, is there a series? Did they make, co did Dark Horse put out any comics? Me too. Again, this is us d discussing this. Presuming this is the end, because yes. I cannot see any but it doesn't fucking be logical time. reason to keep... Continue, keep, like, continue following story. Cal. Yeah, <laughs> like... So let me look that up while Marin's doing her thing. No, I mean, just, just like... Yeah, did Cal star in any comics? Because are there comics that filled in that storyline? Tie-in actually... media. Here we go. There's a tie-in novel. Okay. I'm going to pull that up. Tie-in novel really is more just like a more of a Marin situation. Oh yeah. So it doesn't really tie boat into anything. Well, that's fun.
Yeah, um, I'm just, we're at end. Like, there's no shot. It's an odd. Yeah, let's just watch well, it. I mean, no comment. I kind of, I'm kind of okay with it because like, not everyone has to be redeemed, and th that's one of my things I really was critical of for um, Rise of Skywalker, which I don't, I don't think you've seen the sequel trilogy. But spoilers, hot take. Um, not really a hot take. I think everyone agrees Rise of Skywalker is trash, but um, they like redeem Kylo Ren, and I'm like. No, he shouldn't be redeemed. He committed atrocious war crimes, killed possibly billions of lives, and we suddenly redeem him. It's kind of like Vader, right? Like, not everyone has to be fucking redeemed. And I'm kind mm. of... A, that was a weird... What's happening? Oh, boy. Oh, okay. It's meant to be, like, time lapse around him. Okay. I was like, what's happening? Um, I think it's supposed to be a time lasted around them. Um, like, Bo made his choice at the end of the... And we should be okay with it. Like, I'm okay with this following events. I do think it takes a while to, like... Probably get to the point of, the, like, the Survivor title. Let me walk my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. Oh. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. You didn't really do a good job. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for what comes next. That's why I recognize him. The character who plays the guy who plays Bode, he plays Mysterio in Spider Man 2. I just made that connection. I didn't play a ton of those missions, so um, I guess Fair. I didn't make just it. enjoyed this game a lot um gameplay aside right because uh, i do think the story yeah. is pretty decent I, I i think they just didn't do a good job balancing out what cal can do versus others um because mm -hmm. they like upped the speed of almost every enemy that you encounter but i felt like either slowed cal down or didn't balance him in addition to them um And I know, I'm fairly certain they've already either started or are working on a third one, or at least pre-production planning-wise. I do know the director Stig left Respawn, so I wonder who's going to continue after that. Because um, I know he was kind of the vision, not visionary, but he was brought in he was based like, on his he like, like. He was like the guy for Star Wars over there. Yeah, and he was brought in after. Her, the success of like God of War 3 which he directed oh, okay. um, for the PS3 and they kind of wanted 
it to be a God of War oh, like, was, in terms of was like God of War three, the one that Balrog left or something. Balrog three. left after two, three was done by this guy Stig. Um, and then he came and back. Balrog for, came back for the, for the 2018 game. one. So yeah. Um, again, overall, I enjoy this game. I enjoy Star Wars content. Not all Star Wars content is good. But this is one of the ones that I do enjoy. I'm just I'm just a hater when it comes to Star Wars, so I'm probably never going to be pleased. Fair. Um, Which is maybe not a good place to be, but I just want other sci-fi. I, I want other sci-fi, and it never seems like we always seem to get young adult or Star Wars. <laughs> like fair, yeah. <laughs> now, what I would really like. And this is kind of funny because like it's what I want wanted, uh, it's what I wanted. Uh, goddamn, Starfield to be was more of a space opera, but not an open world. I, I want more like a Mass Effect space. I want another set of Mass Effect type games where it's not open world. We don't need everything to be an open world. Like it's okay to not have an open world. It's fine. Yeah, we'll survive. I mean. If you make a, t and I think I like open world, but I think that a lot of companies get way well beyond their scope when they make them, and that, that's a lot of what. Yeah, and so what I've speaking of sci-fi open world, right? The far, um, not the far right. Uh, the Avatar game just came out, right? The Miss Frontiers of Pandora, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, Avatar's Far Cry. It sounds like it's decent. And I'll probably play it because it's something different in that open world space of like a sci-fi open world, but definitely not paying full price because it's kind of that still um, Ubisoft mold. And again, I really have high hopes for Outlaw, the open world Star Wars game. And again, we should have more than just Star Wars in the sci-fi space, but it's what we're given right now. Um, and uh, my comment's a little bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, a lot of games there aren't. And granted, like some of that's because like new IPs are tried and they don't do well. But yeah, and then that just um, shows that like Bioware people are just afraid of betting on IPs, or they don't put a lot of effort into the bet on the IP. I don't know, but. Yeah. Out Frontiers of Pandora. Let's see what its Metacritic is. Uh, well, it's That's Jedi Survivor. Again, a game that's, I still think, a solid seven and a half, eight for me. Um, mm -hmm. If the gameplay was a bit more polished, and honestly, this could have been a tighter game in terms of like story and pacing, too. Because mm -hmm. um, that hub world was just not the vibe, and I got stuck in it for a bit myself, because I, I do that. Um, I'm sure Cal's story will continue because despite him just being kind of another Jedi, I do think it's interesting to see Jedis exist in a space post Order 66, but before the Skywalkers show up. I think there's more interesting stories to tell than just the Skywalkers, you know? I mean, that's why Mandalorian was, is so successful in my opinion, up to a point because it just focused on something other than the Skywalkers. Oh. Other than Jedi. All right. So we will see you guys on our next series. Oh, hello. Um, God of War 2018 well, and Bioshock exactly Infinite. That's what we expected. But this place is our home now. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And find the anchorites. And build a saloon. 
I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. Must be long for tea. It belongs with all of us. Now are they gonna show her to be force sensitive? What do you think, kid? Should we give it a shot? Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, oh, that's the spirit. Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. Okay, I'll make hold you on. something to eat. Idea for a future a game, right? Say several years from now, dual protagonists. Kata is not force sensitive would be cool or is taught like Marin style of force powers would be fire I think <laughs> why would I want to randomize my cosmetics upon death dude Look at my health, Connor. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, yeah, one more hit and you were redoing that fight. And I would have been so mad. So upset. All right. We will see you guys on our next series. Finally moving on. Yeah. Bye. Peace.